And so I was thinking about it, and I think, <laughs> I think, I've been overthinking about this. I think that people overthink bodybuilding. I think it's way more simple than people uh, let like people think because I've came so far along my journey, and um, I don't even know too much about the science. I've not really done my research. I bet a, I bet a lot of people know a lot more stuff about me, and because um, I don't I don't even I'm still like I'm actually like a I'm still a newbie. I consider myself a noob. Like, because I still go on YouTube and I'm still searching for videos, trying to Google knowledge and stuff and, you know, get shit, you know, and understand things because I don't understand this. I don't understand the science behind a lot of the shit in bodybuilding. I really don't care to because a lot of it goes against what I believe in. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm more, I'm more like a, yeah, I'm more like a, I think the mind is real powerful and I think like you can override a lot of bullshit with your mind. Like, I just think that. Yeah, like Arnold, for example, he was like, I don't even think my biceps is biceps. I think of them as like big ass mountains. So... I don't know. I mean, obviously, that what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, I know. But I, I, I like play with my mind like that, too, is what I'm saying. So I'm not one to go research a bunch of science. I just kind of like get into the field and feel it out. That's where all my, um, like, all my mental notes kind of come from. Actually, I'm lying. I watch, like, a bunch of Kai Green videos because Kai Green is nice. You know, he's like, yo, you got to feel the contractions. You got to feel the stretches. You, you know that I'm about that shit, too. Um... I watched a lot of Mike Rashid videos. Mike Rashid, is, Mike Rashid is super intense. You know, he would just talk about like just intense training sessions, just like overworking the muscle, going past failure. And obviously a by byproduct of that, like your intensity is obviously super high, right? So you're gonna make some gains. Your muscle fibers are gonna get destroyed. And as long as you go home and eat after that, you know, they're gonna rebuild even stronger. So I pretty much just made it simple for myself. I combined like Kai Green's methods of like s contract, stretch mind muscle connection and i combined it with mike rashid style of overtrain yo annihilate the muscle kill that and you just got to go home and eat like a regular person and that's what bodybuilding is but i obviously bodybuilders you know we eat more <clears throat> typically most bodybuilders i know they'll eat about like six times a day or six meals a day um so that's kind of more than the average person especially if you're one of those super you know like a like a heavyweight bodybuilder one of those guys and yeah you you eat I see some of them eating like eight meals a day and big ass meals too. But most of us aren't eating like that and most of us don't have uh, like those type of goals. Most of us just want to get fit or get a six pack, get a big chest, you know, look good for a girl. Um, just look good for yourself. Whatever the hell it is, it's usually not to get, you, you, you probably don't have to be eating eight meals a day is what I'm saying. So your life is pretty normal. You go to the gym, you lift <clears throat> on average probably about 90 minutes, right? and you give it all you got in there and you come home and you eat like four to six meals and when you're looking at your meals just make sure it's it's gains worthy make sure you're seeing protein on the plate and carbs on the plate so each meal like i don't even I only really track my food when i'm on my when i'm cutting when i'm bulking dog i just gotta i'm like i'm like yo i want to eat like four to six meals and i need to see protein and carbs on the plate if i see that like i know i'm doing my job um <clears throat> so I make I make it real simple for myself. I don't like to overthink all this stuff. Um, but if you got it down to a T, more power to you. I just don't want you to stress about it. So yeah, just make sure you go into the gym, go home and eat. It's not too difficult. You know what I mean? Even like I give myself like I don't even give myself that much credit for being a bodybuilder like that because it's it's that easy for me if you've seen I've been doing like yoga I've been doing break dance and I've been doing bodybuilding I've been doing a lot of stuff and it's bodybuilding to me is like it's almost just 90 minutes a day and then you got to go home and eat it's not that difficult I heard Conor McGregor right <clears throat> one time he was talking about MMA and he was talking about all these freaking obligations he had to do he's like dog I got to cut weight you know I'm dieting I got my fucking training sessions I got these media obligations I got to fly across and do media I got to do all these things and he, he named like six things and I'm like dog all I got to do is I'm dieting and I go hit the gym for 90 minutes like that's really not too much so I just don't want you guys to overthink it obviously there's sometimes I was in the gym for three hours sometimes I've been in the gym for two hours but when I average it out I'm probably in there for like 90 minutes you know minus the cardio minus things like that the lift itself it's usually like 90 minutes long so yeah, just don't want you guys to overthink it, man. I want you guys to get your gains, and I want you to make it easy on yourself. Of course, you got to put the effort in. Of course, it's going to be difficult. You got to be consistent over a long period of fucking time. But 
your mental is going to be important like make it easy on yourself don't stress your sh yourself out about this and workout plans like honestly i don't know i'm just throwing a lot of shit into one video right now but honestly um with like workout plans and stuff the best workout is going to be the one that keeps you coming back i heard julian smith say that and that's so it's so it's so real because you got to be consistent it's like whatever style of training whatever like lifts you like to do whatever's going to keep you coming back there for years is literally what's going to be um what makes you successful like what, what's going to make you make gains you know what i'm saying all right so yeah just want to say like just don't overthink it um don't hoard all this knowledge and like gather this knowledge it's good to have it but just make sure that just as much knowledge as you have you're putting your freaking feet into the field and you're actually going and lifting the weights feeling for that mind muscle connection teaching your body how to uh activate these muscles and call on these muscles on command when you're doing the lifts like you know what i'm saying that mind muscle connection that technique you have that's the most important shit because if you have all this knowledge but your technique is off it's um it's not going to be helpful for you like one analogy i like to give is like a boxer <clears throat> if he can read all about he could read all about a jab he could even go into the gym and practice a shitty jab that jab ain't gonna help him in a fight like you need to know my muscle connection you didn't those reps gotta count you can't just do 10 reps because if a boxer just threw like 10 shitty jabs if he threw that jab in a fight none of those reps would have helped like none of those reps were even like <clears throat> worth anything so more so than like that information knowledge you need to have that in the field knowledge you know what i'm saying you need to have that experience knowledge and um that's what uh don't overthink it just do it kind of thing you feel me you feel me yeah that's all i gotta say